here I am with a new box. That's a lot of cardboard. So today we're looking at the Traxxas E-Revo 2.0 in green. It's time to break a seal. Take this out of its cellophane wrapping and let's have a look inside this thing. I'm pretty excited guys. What do we got? Ooh, squeaky. <laughs> there it is guys, there it is. E-Revo in green little parts bag and instruction guide and of course the truck itself <laughs> now straight away what I can see with this is it's a lot bigger than I thought the truck was going to be so you've got your normal 2.4 gigahertz transmitter so you've got go brake and reverse and steering left and steering right this just takes the standard four AA batteries to run. You get your usual tool bag, tool kit, instruction guide, parts list and stickers. I've chosen to run two overlanders in this. They're three S each and 5,000 milliamps. So let's have a look at this body or we'll remove the plastic. Now, the Trax X Max shares the same design as this. You have a clipless design where the body is removed just quite simply like that. And there it is. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. A bit of protection there on the top so that if you roll over, you don't damage it. And of course inside you can see the skeletal design that holds this body in place. Really clever. I love the look of this thing, it looks superb. So this truck weighs an awful lot, it's really heavy, it's got a lot of substance to it. And you can see straight away that it's built to last. This thing has a lot of technology inside it and you can kind of understand why it costs what it costs when you've got one in front of you. It's got some decent tyres on it, it really has. The rubber looks really strong, really tough and I really like the design of this truck. I really like how the batteries sit in the sides here. Either side of the truck has a slot your dual battery setup to sit which is really nice on the top you've got the obvious stuff the motor ESC the servos the radio box all sits there on top and obviously the battery connectors as well the suspension on this thing is immense it has a lot of travel there's a lot of return on it so as soon as you let go it sort of comes back nice and gently rather than jumping to the top it just kind of returns gently which means that when you're on the terrain this thing is going to twist and turn and be able to grip and dig in as best possible. Underneath this truck you can see that it adopts a dual servo design so therefore you have twice the power when steering. So this truck is capable of running 2S all the way up to 6S LiPos. Now I'm sure some people out there have already upgraded the motor and ESC to really really overdo the power on this thing. I can see that it looks well built, it's heavy, it's strong, the plastics look good, the drive shafts, the drive cups, everything looks good, the bearings are really beefy, very similar to the X-Max kind of standards really. Straight out of the box this truck will do 50 miles an hour with these two included batteries. So this has to be one of the more serious trucks I've ever purchased. Let's switch it on for the first time. Jeez, barely touching the throttle there. 
it jumps out of my hand, it's that fast. TSM there, as you see at the front of the truck, the tyres, the wheels turn to aid you so you can go in a straight line under power without losing control. Awesome technology. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to taking this thing out for a blast. So that's the E-Revo 2.0. I'm looking forward to taking this thing out and really having some fun with it and seeing what it can do in the dirt. Stay tuned guys and thanks for watching. See you next time. This is looking very, very interesting indeed.